people in the southeast are figuring out next steps as communities start to rebuild after Hurricane Helene. The death toll is now at more than 130 people and many others are still unaccounted for. Jay Gray has the latest from North Carolina. The mountains of North Carolina littered with splintered wood and twisted metal. Remnants of homes and lives ripped apart by Helene, a storm unlike any the region has ever seen. I mean, we are facing apocalyptic uh, disaster. The last time that Western North Carolina experienced a flood like this was in the book of Genesis and Noah. Uh, there is nothing in between. This is the big one. Entire communities washed away. I mean, there's no roads. There's no evidence of roads. There's no trees. It's just it's just water and stone. There's there's nothing left. More than 130 dead across six states with expectations that number will grow. More than a third of the victims from the Carolinas where 600 or more are still missing. Day three of him potentially not having insulin. I'm scared. Kristen Stark hasn't talked to her dad since before the storm. Like so many frantic to find loved ones, she's called dozens of times, but so far, no answer. It goes straight to his voicemail, and in some way hearing his voice is a little comforting. There is little, if any, comfort in the hardest hit areas here. Survivors with no power, no cell service, clean water, food, and fuel scarce. There's actual whole communities that are completely cut off from the grid. Operation Airdrop flying in supplies where they can. In other battered communities, essentials carried in by donkeys. Life-saving measures in areas desperate for help. They'll need for a long time here. Jay Gray, NBC News, Boone, North Carolina.